guys what is up and welcome back what is going on with this nightgown lord <laughs> whoa hey guys what is up it is dorcas and welcome back to my channel i cannot sing y'all know that those of you guys who have been here you know what it is you know what the vibes are like those of you guys that are new welcome I am Dorcas and here on my channel I share my life story in hopes that it will help you guys to heal as I am healing and kind of create a virtual community of healing. So if that's what you're into, thank you so very much for tuning in. And if you're watching this video, it's because I am going to be telling you guys about my Yoni steaming as part of my self-care Sundays for the month of July. So. First and foremost, let me go ahead and give a shameless plug to Denny G Intimacy, okay? Denny G Intimacy, Megan and her husband, they have um, an all-natural intimacy-driven business. Um, it focuses on healing things within the bedroom naturally. So you're looking for a way to spice it up, you want to try something new, if there may be a personal issue going on, check out Danny G Intimacy. I'm going to have her website linked down below. Um, you can read her personal testimony on there and definitely try out some of her products. I know I am trying them out, hence the yoni steam yoni steaming is not anything new yoni steaming is actually an ancient practice you can go right here on youtube and find tons and tons of videos explaining what yoni steaming is how to yoni steam but i'm going to show what i personally do no way is wrong all right it's all about the intention that you have some benefits of yoni steaming helps with um intimacy issues of course anything that is going on down there can nine times out of ten be healed with yoni steaming also um yoni steaming just promotes self-care to me because anytime that you get to take away for yourself to just sit and to meditate and to just think about your next moves your next steps etc just inward reflection that is a healing within itself so even if none of these herbs ever worked taking that time to sit down and be one with yourself is definitely worth it although they do work and there's tons of testimonials including my own to support that she, the two that she sent me one is called sacred temple we're going to get more into the sacred temple when I do my new moon ritual routine for you guys which will be coming up um at the new moon but today for my first self-care sunday i figured that i would go ahead and show you how i do my releasing ceremony and to release basically let's back up the full moon has powers within itself whether you believe in this or not Okay, during a full moon, it's a good time to release any type of negative energy. It's a good time to release any type of limiting beliefs. Um, it's a good time to basically anything that is holding you back is a good time to let that go. The only thing that I'm going to be using is called cleansed, which is what my intention for this full moon is just to cleanse all of my limiting beliefs and remind myself that although sometimes I don't feel like it, I'm still a bad B word, yeah. Inside of Cleansed, there is Dung Kwai, Motherwort, Red Clover, Yarrow, Mugwort, and Calendula. All of these um, herbs work together to help promote um, sacred space healing your vaginal area your yoni okay um it helps to balance hormones it helps with any infertility issues if you suffer from heavy cycles it helps to um regulate that it also helps with cramps constipation weak digestion um a lot of these herbs also have spiritual properties like they promote optimism and they help you to detox not only a physical detox but a mental and a spiritual detox so all of these will be working together to help me to 
release or to cleanse okay so if you guys are interested in yoni steaming and you want to see how i do my personal yoni steaming please continue to watch this video give it a thumbs up comment down below share with a friend and let me know have you tried yoni steaming before have you gone to either a um spa and gotten one done or do you do your own at home let me know so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it all right guys so let me share with you my setup really quickly i have a candle which i like to have something burning um it helps me whenever i am you know burning my sage or anything to already have something lit and i'm not striking matches and <laughs> distracting myself i have my bag which has my crystals in them i have a bowl um i also have my journals and my um my manifestation journal and my regular journal and i have some bay leaves which i will explain what those are for later here is what my chair my diy chair that i have created for my yoni steaming i have a blanket that i use to put over myself while i am steaming and then i have this is basically a milk crate i covered it in a pillow sham on the back end as you can see it's open I have a towel in there because that's where the hot pot that I'll show you in a moment will go and milk crates are great for DIY because the steam will be able to rise up through the top and then this just helps to I guess keep some of the steam in so that you can have a longer meditation session and once my pot is inside this will get pulled up and covered up and all the steam will just come out of the top basically you can purchase um more i guess expensive yoni chairs online but for a diy this basically serves its purpose and this is good enough for me for now maybe one day i will invest in a yoni chair and when i do i will show you guys that but right now spending 100 200 whatever dollars for one it's just not feasible but maybe once some of that money I've been manifesting starts coming in, then your girl gonna treat herself. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I just finished boiling my water. This is very, very hot. I'm gonna go carry it, put it inside my DIY Yoni steaming station. You place your herbs inside and let them steep and let this basically cool down because you're not trying to burn your yoni off <laughs> you're just trying to get a nice comfortable relaxing steam so i'm pretty sure you guys can see this is very very steamy i just took it off of the stove i am going to add in my cleansed yoni steam herbs from the energy intimacy once you add them in you are going to let this steep, meaning just let it sit. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes so that it can cool down and then I will be get on top. During this time, I am lighting my sage because I want to make sure that my area is cleansed before I begin. If there's any negative energy around, I want to make sure that my self is cleared. I'm also saging my crystals so that I can be able to use them to the fullness of their abilities. I also use my sound bill to clear any energies as well. After this, I go ahead and I open up my affirmation journal. In the front of my journal, I have a list of different affirmations that I read to myself. Sometimes I say them out loud. This just helps me to get into the correct mind space for what I'm about to do. I find it very rewarding to first open up my mind to receive what I'm about to do. After I have repeated my affirmations, I begin to journal any thoughts that come to mind. I find that when I am meditating, I get my best ideas. I also have my best thoughts because I'm shutting off everything around me and I'm just allowing myself to be still and to be full in the moment. So I begin to write anything that comes to me on the open clean page. 
An example of some of the things I write, sometimes I write prayers for the people that are around me. I always start off with prayers for my husband and our relationship. I also write for my children and then anyone who I think of at the top of mind while I'm meditating, like my sisters or my brothers. Um, right before this video, I received a call on something that I had definitely been praying and manifesting, so I'm also writing down some notes of gratitude. I find that it's important to not only ask for things or pray for things, but also show your gratitude towards those things once you have received them. Once I'm done in my journal, I take out a few bay leaves. Usually I'll do however many fall or however many I feel like I need. On the bay leaves is where I'm writing out the things that I want to release. Any type of negative thoughts, negative feelings, any type of limiting beliefs that I have, I write them out in detail on these bay leaves. This is no different from if you've seen online, there's different, um, plates people will write on a plate or they'll write on a sheet of paper and then they'll burn it that's exactly what i'm doing but with the bay leaves bay leaves are said to have have properties that help you to grant wishes to clear your space of harmful negative energy also to bring you prosperity so i choose to use a bay leaf instead of any other type of um materials Once I have written all of my beliefs or the things that I want to let go on a bay leaf, I seal it with my own breath and then I burn this bay leaf. Once the bay leaf has burned, that is a signal to myself um, that it's done. I'm not revisiting those limiting beliefs. They no longer have power over my life. They are done, moted, be. Once I have burned my bay leaves, I go back into my meditation. At this time, I like to repeat more affirmations. Some examples of affirmations that I repeat are that I tell myself, I am worthy of the highest quality of life. I am worthy of a great life full of happiness, love, joy, and respect. I believe in me. Doors of opportunity and abundance are open to me now. I am allowing myself to be great. I am thankful for all of my blessings and I share them with others freely. I am an amazing mother, wife, girlfriend, sister, aunt, cousin, and family member. Once I am done with all of my affirmations, I blow out my candle, then I say a prayer, after I say this prayer, I believe that it is done. It's done. It's over with. It's so <laughs> if you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure that you give it a like, a thumbs up, you know, subscribe, share with a friend. If you are interested in me creating a video of just affirmations that I speak to myself to keep myself uplifted, I definitely wouldn't mind helping you with that. Have a good one. I will see you in the next one. Bye.